Hello, I'm James Randi. When I was a kid at summer camp, we older campers would spook out the newcomers by making a compass needle move magically. It can be done usually just by bringing any magnetic object, such as a regular pocket knife, near to it. Now remember that Uri Geller only knows six tricks. Five magic tricks and suing anyone who annoys him. Here's the video clip of Geller doing his compass moving trick in a TV studio in Israel. This video has had more than one million views on YouTube. For the first 50 seconds, we see Geller freely gesturing near the compass with both his hands. Nothing moves. He then has the audience count to three and shout at the compass, twice, ostensibly trying to make it move, but it doesn't budge. In other words, it's behaving as a magnetic compass should. We see him openly putting on the thumb tip onto his left hand right in front of the audience. Now he's ready, and he spends some time fussing about and getting the audience to hold hands as if to build up the power, actually to misdirect attention from himself. Note that his left hand with the thumb tip plus magnet is always free because he has to use it. He keeps that hand well away from the compass. He suddenly brings it in above the instrument with his fist closed and the thumb tucked inside his fist. Now the compass moves, as he planned, and he announces success. It moved, by actual measurement, 11 degrees in rotation. Here we have a similar marine compass. A tag attached to it reads, Caution! Magnetic interference will affect the security of your compass heading. You see, the manufacturers knew this fact, too. Here I have a regular jackknife. Bringing it in close to the compass causes movement of some degrees. Watch. Now here's my thumb tip. Let's see what deflection I can cause using my own version of this ancient trick. It's showtime. Wow. Now, just how big is the magnet I used? That recent online article that I featured last week said that it would have to be large, remember? Not so, folks. You see, this is a trick within a trick. The thumb tip I used was not needed at all. Here's where the magnet was hidden, invisible and out of sight, merely taped to the heel of my hand. Now, I used transparent tape here, but I could have used opaque tape flesh-colored, so you wouldn't see it at all. And how big is it? This big. Watch. So get yourself a tiny magnet, forget the thumb tip, and you too can become as good a psychic as Uri Geller. The other four tricks, believe me, they're just as easy. I'm James Randi. Thank you. We thank you for watching this latest episode of James Randi Speaks. For more of James Randi and the Educational Foundation, make sure you visit randy.org.